we wanted to have you on uh, to talk about the technology that we're seeing baseball introduce with catchers here that apparently trying to cut down on sign stealing. Your thoughts on, uh, is it an overreaction? Uh, Slightly. I did see that new device in spring training. I was in Mets camp uh, a a while ago, I think a little less than two weeks ago, and I saw that new device that uh, they're putting in the ear and the catcher and the second baseman and shortstop and pitcher, obviously. A lot of pitchers, I, I didn't know what was coming anyway. I just kind of said, I'm better look fastball and adjust to anything else. Uh, I, I think uh, it's a shame that that, that sign stealing controversy did happen. I didn't, I didn't think it was very, uh, it just wasn't part of the game. And unfortunately, the game has not been able to police itself like in the years past. And um, guys are... I think a little bit now very overreacting, a little sensitive to it. I don't really think it's rocket science. I think as a hitter, I guess more on location than actual pitch. But since hitters now, I think are, are really guessing or since there's less of an emphasis on strikeouts, the guys are swinging harder with two strikes. So they kind of are trying to, to, it's more of a, of a problem, I guess, than it was in the past. But, uh, you know, I'm all for technology. The game has changed. I feel a little bit like a dinosaur, but and I think it's interesting. I think it could be a place. But my whole thing is too that if if it is uh, an electronic device, maybe that could be hacked or compromised as well. So you know, we were I was saying if we could hear it through some sort of radio wave or something, then the other side could probably hear it too if they really wanted to. So that presents another issue of problems, obviously. Yeah, I just wondered about, you know, sign stealing is part of the game. Like, just actual looking in to see what, you know, location or fastball, curveball, whatever. You you consider that part of the game? Well, I would say part of the game, but also disguising it as part of the game. And then if you felt like the guy was overtly flaunting, oh. relaying it to the hitter, then obviously I've had a few conversations where catchers told me, is he telling you the signs? Because uh, <laughs> it could be very dangerous. Uh, but since that is not no longer, it's frowned upon, obviously. And maybe it's for the better, for the worse. I don't know. I mean, I'm more of a traditional guy. I always felt like those things were naturally policed. And then there were some pitchers. I mean, like Oral Hershiser during his stretch in 1988, I believe, when they won the World Series. You're probably going to get a sinker. You know what I mean? It wasn't it wasn't like a big mystery. You were probably going to get a sinker, and especially with Maddox as well. I mean, I think the location part was probably more of something, at least for me. If I knew the guy was coming inside, he probably wasn't going to come inside with a changeup. It was probably going to be something pretty firm. So if I knew that, I kind of already had more or less 50% of, the, of my guessing kind of uh, eliminated. Did you have a pitcher who tipped his pitches? Yeah, that's well, that's, a, I think, also another problem that hasn't been addressed where um, Eric Harris, who we've talked about before, was amazing at in the stretch when the pitcher had his hand up, they sometimes would dig for a certain pitch. Like if a guy was going for a slider, he would rotate his wrists and Carroll oh. would go to me after the second inning and, uh, and he would say, do you want the, the pitches? And I would say, Really? And I said, yeah. And he would say, dude, fastball, you know, curveball or fastball changeup or fastball split. And he and Robbie Alomar were two guys that I remember distinctly would have the pitches. And then with the advent of free agency, we actually found out that some of our pitchers who knew guys on the other team were telling them that, oh, they have your pitches in the stretch because, you know, again, if guy went for a changeup, he would dig or you would see his hand, you know, manipulate the ball a little bit differently. So, that, that was a problem as well. Some guys were overly obvious about it. Even guys on their own team could sometimes see it. 